Hello, my name is Anna Steinbrich. Um, I'm from Germany, but I study in the UK. I study at Oxford University, I'm in my first year, and I'm doing PPE, which is Philosophy, Politics and Economics. This video is about the TOEFL test, and I scored 115 out of 120 points on the internet-based TOEFL test. Um, TOEFL, TOEFL test. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Um, I'm just gonna call it TOEFL, but bear with me. Maybe it's TOEFL or whatever. I'm just gonna call it TOEFL. For Oxford, you need a minimum of 110 points out of 120. I was a bit scared whether I, whether I'm um, capable of like of achieving the, the points. Also, the TOEFL test is quite expensive. I think I paid like 250 euros probably. Um, but I scored 115, um, so you can do so too, <laughs> maybe. When I took the test, so I have some notes on my laptop, so... Yeah, just a brief overview of the TOEFL test. Um, there are four sections. Um, uh, reading, a listening, uh, a speaking and a writing section. Um, when I took the test in September 2018, um, I think it was about three and a half hours long. I think it is a bit shorter now, but the basics stay the same. Basically, I want to show you like some templates that are used to answer the different sections. Um, because, and that's the important thing for these kind of tests. It's not only to travel tests, like basically most standardized tests. It's not only about how well you can speak English also, but not only. It's also about you knowing how the test works. All of these tests have like a very specific structure. And if you know how to shape your answers according to that structure, then that's a pretty good starting point. In the info box, you will find a Word document um, with, yeah, basically the templates I used. Um, on this document is everything that I think you need to answer the different questions. It's not enough, like you have to you have to take practice tests, that's the most important thing. Um, but these are like all the study notes I think you need. Um, of course it's also always helpful to like um, read books in English, watch movies um, on Eng in English, um, just, yeah, just like engage with the English language. It's very cloudy today, so I look very pale. I feel like I always look pale, maybe I am just pale. I'm probably just pale. Okay, let's start. Um, we start, oh yeah, you can also open the document and then like read through it while I go through it might be helpful um we'll start with the reading um <laughs> like you can watch <laughs> <laughs> yeah then right now okay. okay let's start with the reading section um, for both the reading and also the listening, um, it's important to remember that all the questions are chronological. Maybe you were able to answer the first one, you were you are able to answer the third one, but you don't really know about the second one. But um, then you, you will definitely know that it it must be between between the. the the answer of the first and the third question so you can narrow it down which is really helpful so questions are chronological and um, the answers are very clearly in the text so don't read too much between the lines like it will be pretty straightforward the technique how you read is quite important because um, you should not 
start to read the whole text when you first start to read it but just specific sentences so read like the first two lines of the introduction and then read just the first so you have a, like a general idea what the um, text is about then read the first line of each of the body paragraphs because in the first line you will always find um, the topic of the paragraph and then read the first and the last line of the conclusion of the last paragraph so you know uh, what yeah what the text concludes and then you know down like or while you read it these lines you know down the overall idea of the text um, some information like what the body paragraphs say um, and what the solution is. Then you have like an overall idea of the text which will make it easier for you to know where to find the answers for the questions and then when you um, start um, to answer the questions you will need like you will need detailed information from the text then you go to the paragraph where you think the answer will be in and then you will um, like just read through the paragraph until you find the detail you need and then yeah that should be fine um, so overall for the reading section um, the way you read is important so don't read the whole text but like the first few lines always um, and um, remember that the questions are chronological I think that's basically all you have to remember for the reading section and yeah take maybe some notes like yeah then the listening section um in a lesson listening section similar to the reading section the questions are also very straightforward don't look for tricks like don't read too much like between the lines just what you've heard that's what they're gonna ask you for what helped me the most is basically just writing down everything i've heard um don't focus too much on like don't try to just get the general idea of the listening task because you do have to get the details as well so basically um i always had a template which was like what is the reading is about why then all the reasons examples and details and then the conclusion usually it's also in that order so they're first going to talk about like they're first gonna mention what the little section is about, why, then they talk about detailed stuff, and then the conclusion. Have maybe the template, but try to catch every detail. Um, make notes basically of pretty much everything, because sometimes they do ask for very detailed stuff, which is a bit not annoying, but just write it down. Write quickly, appropriate words, um, focus on like writing down verbs and nouns not articles and um, yeah just very quickly but try to cover everything and then you you should be fine and you should be able to answer the um questions but just yeah so in general for listening it's helpful to stick to the template to like what why details and conclusion but write down everything you hear um as quickly as you can you will have enough space to like make notes there will be several of um sheets of paper on your uh seat um like at the place you you work you do the tests at so um don't worry about um making too many notes for listening that is really possible the third question uh, the third section is speaking um for speaking, you usually have, um, so when I took the test, I think I had around six uh, different speakers.